What is up heroes, it's Midnight Zero, welcome back to Let's Play Portal 2 Blind. In the last episode we started our adventure, found out we are the human that defeated GLaDOS apparently many years ago, and now we've lost our dear friend Wheatley as we've accidentally reawakened GLaDOS and have entered Chapter 2, where we are yet again GLaDOS's test subject. Alright. What am I... Where am I supposed to go? Up there? Ah, that would... Whoa! I didn't even realize there was stuff going on down there. Is there a button down there or something? What is... Huh? I mean, I think clearly I'm supposed to open that up and then redirect the laser, maybe from the ceiling? Is all I can think of? Close. Not quite, though. There we go. Um... Do I need to do that once I'm on the platform? Looks like it. Can I can I go in this water? Or do I, am I gonna have to jump? We'll jump to be safe. But I don't really know. Close. Not quite. There we go. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. <laughs> do you see this demonstration over here? Thermal discouragement room. What? So it shows them firing a laser, and then everybody's like, well, gotta duck under that laser. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Thermal discouragement beam. I see. So you discourage people from doing whatever they're doing like backing out of their desks or whatever it may be by firing a thermal laser beam that they need to avoid. Not the most friendliest means of enforcing a particular activity. This next right. test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. Interesting. There one in the corner. So got to jump over the lasers. There should be one in the corner. Is it this corner or is it a different corner? Is it this one? I think that's what's being referred to. However, interestingly enough, I don't think I can actually... Can I place a portal there? No, I can't. What is going on up here? Hello? You doing all right up there, platform? Everything looks like it's gone a little bit haywire. Alright, so I'm clearly missing something. Ah, that's the cube. So I'll put a portal under there. There we go. Come on, bud. So I'd imagine I probably need to place it in such a way that it'll redirect at the, um... Oh, it goes wherever I, like, place it in this regard, I guess. Oops. So now we can do this. We can probably just leave it there. Perfect. I'm also really happy that the thermal, uh, what's it called, discouragement cube isn't, like, an insta-kill. Aw, oh, man, I knew it was gonna be like that. So, once we've done that, we can probably come up here, place this portal underneath the cube, and then bring it up. Right? Where'd the cube go? Get over here. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. <laughs> That's what it says. A horrible person. We okay, GLaDOS. Okay. That. We weren't even testing for that, but those are the test results. Oh, GLaDOS, the, the humor. The humor never never gets old. You know what does get old, though? The Valve, like, intro logo when you boot up Portal 2. It shows, like, the, the bald person with the Valve on the back of their head. It's just a data point. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to Oof. abandon you on a doorstep. Yikes. That, that makes me feel so much better, GLaDOS. There's got to be something else I was supposed to potentially see here, right? This is number three. So we're using the, the redirection cubes and all. Is 
You, you uh, doing all right there? We good? We stable? Do I need to worry about anything else moving around? All right. Well, for the most part, I think things are stable. We can obviously go up there. Let's scout what things look like from up here. So here's our cube. The question is, where do we need to redirect things to? It looks like we're going to want to redirect them in such a way that we can place a portal that launches the beam up there. So the first thing I notice is we're going to need to... Okay, yeah, so there are, there are a couple things we're going to need to do. The first of which we're, is gonna, we're going to drop onto this area. So let's see here. If I were to fall, that looks not quite lined up correctly. Let's go like over there and see how that looks. Okay, it looks a little bit better. Maybe that? Okay, I can be a little bit more comfortable with that. So the first thing we're going to need to do is drop the cube down here to redirect towards that. And then we'll want to re we'll use our portal gun to redirect that laser. So let's let's hope I don't mess it up, I guess. Alright, looks like we haven't messed it up yet. So, and then we can leave it here. Perfect, so that one is all set up. Next up, we can, I don't know, fire a blue one there. So we're back up here. And we'll want to do, before I do that, let's move the orange one over there so I can think while not potentially destroying myself. Looks like it's coming from there. Congratulations. Cool. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. <laughs> Congratulations on getting fat. <laughs> oh, GLaDOS, the shade never ends. I wonder how much of the game is going to be, you know, testing, testing, like in the first portal, where 90% of the game was going through a bunch of these tests, which were really cool puzzles and everything, but the game really got good when you started to figure out a little bit more about what's going on in the world around you and everything else. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them, so feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're <laughs> not destroying this facility. Interesting. So GLaDOS is building them as we're progressing. That's really interesting. Is it that they were broken down and need to be reconstructed, or is it that they are completely new puzzles, right? Given I don't remember them from the first game, it's probably the latter. But I can see feasibly within the story, you know, both of them being possible. So let's see what's over there. We got this button, and we're going to get hit in the head by a cube, it seems. Alright, we got ourselves a cube, friends. So, now that we have this cube, the question is, where do we put it? Hmm. I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't really see a lot immediately. Is there anything else? We can, can we redirect? No, because that's not even over a platform. Regardless, let's take a look from over here. There's a button over there. So I could do that, and then potentially try to redirect that laser with the portals. So I need both this on that button over there, in addition to the laser redirection. That's all I can really think of at the moment. I don't know if I can even set up a portal over there, though. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. So maybe what I need to do is actually set up the laser first, and that'll activate something I need in order to bring the cube over there. So what I'm going to do is, again, fire this over, I don't know, there for now. And we'll set that up. And I don't want to be in the path of whatever I end up setting up, unfortunately. Because that would be less than ideal. Okay, yeah, I figured that was the case. So now we have access to, well, that. However, the question is, now what? Because... Hmm. That mean what this means is I probably oops need to be activating this laser from elsewhere. So what I can do is redirect the the blue portal 
I can take this cube, leave one of the portals here, because this is something I won't... <clears throat> My bad. <laughs> a lot of you guys probably be like, Whoa, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? As I almost walk into a pit of water. So we'll leave this over here, and we can reactivate the laser because we left the other portal there. And now we can grab this cube and presumably jump on this platform. We're going to have to do a little bit of a uh, jump rope. I'll give you credit. Cool. I guess you are listening to me. And for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Walk <sighs> over to the elevator. My, my B. Testing. I mean... AGDQ did just happen, but... I didn't watch any of it. I gotta keep myself spoiler free. You know, you guys know I'm a big uh, proponent of not getting spoiled, which surprisingly I didn't mention in my very first episode. For those of you that are new to my channel or haven't watched many of my other series, please don't spoil anything. That ranges from as obvious as revealing plot points that occur later on in the game to as what is probably more of a personal preference regarding spoilers, which is setting expectations for the future. As in, oh man, if you thought this was bad, just wait till later in the game. Or, oh man, like, you thought this was dark, wait till this you see what happens to this character, or something like that. Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of the aerial faith to plate. Well test problems when they were catapulted into space. <laughs> Great. Informative. They could they not. Could not. <laughs> That's too funny. Um, so this is presumably the catapult. I don't see a lot of puzzle solving that'll be going on in space, but... I'll set that up just in case, I guess? I don't know. Catapult! Oh. Okay. So clearly that was just to introduce the mechanic. Because presumably... That will make the that appear ah I see I see now can I did I grab it oh I thought I did but not quite I think that's the intent I don't think I can set up a portal there can I no all right we're gonna go now come on up come on up oh darn is there something else I can do to make this easier that I'm just not quite getting at the moment I mean, I'm sure I've just got to time it just right. That was not just right. That was too early. Was that it? No. Is it even getting as high as I go? Turns out it was. I'm surprised. All right. So, fair enough. Fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too extensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, <laughs> and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. <laughs> that is very interesting. That's like an airplane. <laughs> the recycled air. But man, you, you just take the carbon dioxide out and freshen it up a little bit. What does that even mean? Let's see what the next test is. Oh. Advanced aerial faith plates. Well, aerial faith plates. The air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. <laughs> All right, we got some ferial, ferial, aerial faith plates. They're going to catapult us all over the place. Before I do so, though, I really do think they meant it when I'm not going to actually have to care too much because it's just going to be from one of these to the next. I see. Um, so I clearly don't have the momentum I need at the moment. What I can do is potentially save myself though by doing this. Cool! <laughs> so, what we're going to have to do is shoot a couple portals. Uh, is there any way we can do so in advance and make our lives a little bit easier? We can put one there, like that. So I think that should actually set us up for set us up pretty well for the most part. Well, it appears there's an angle to these aerial faith plates, depending on how you actually approach them. So that's that's good to know. There's a learning opportunity. 
Science! Let's see what the next test is. Oh, oh we start all the way points. here. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I will. I to to the wing is this the, uh, of glass and pick up do they fix the backward speed glass. thing? I remember By that from myself. the very first game, speedrun. Alright, well, we can set up our little trick ahead of time, like this. This time I'll right click, because it's more intuitive for me to left click. Alright, we got that, and then this one, and then up here we go, and over to this catapult, and are we going to make it? Whew. We live in. We're going to get hit by a cube again, it seems. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them, standing around, smelling and being useless. <laughs> to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Um, oh my, I see. Was that supposed to be Wheatley or something? Are they just bouncing around down there now, or what? Or more coming? I'll throw a nice portal down there. See what happens. Oh, wait a minute, I have to reset it up. I can do that. Hopefully this works. I'm gonna have to catch whatever comes my way. Looks like it's gonna take a minute, though. I wonder if this is the, uh, the way to do it. Nice. Now the next question, though, is how do I get it over there? Ah, it all makes sense now. It's all coming together. Let's drop it there. Good enough? <laughs> Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. Oh, really? I, I had no idea. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head, <laughs> which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Oh, uh, thank you so much for explaining, GLaDOS. I was really concerned. I didn't realize you were calling me garbage one time, and that it was really important to you that I know you called me garbage. So important that you decided to clarify. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting <laughs> science fact. Alright, so what do we have in this puzzle? Well, I, for some reason, almost just like went right into that. Oh, it's... Accidentally fizzle that before you could no! My companion oh, cube, you... <laughs> My little buddy. Is this one going to fizzle too? I'm surprised. All right, so. Oh, no. I fizzled that one, too. GLaDOS. Oh, well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. So now what I can do is go on this and then, I don't know, I can make this disappear from underneath it. Going up. And what do we have up here? So we have these. We might need to use some of those aerial faith panels or whatever they're called. The question is, where am I going to get the momentum in the first place? Here? Looks like it. And it looks like... Hmm. So I know I can fling myself up here. But I also need to fling a cube up there. So I think the, the plan is going to be to set up one of the portals like here. And then to go down here with the cube. So we can grab this and uh, head on up here, I guess. Where am I? Okay, there we go. 
set you down for a moment and set up a nice little falling area for us. Alright, it's you and me, Cube. Away we go! Cool. So now we have set that up, and now we can do that. More aerial physics fun! Man, I still can't get over how smooth this game feels compared to the first one. And the tone is so much darker right off the bat. Because we already know kind of like the dystopian nature of what's going on, right? The first one it was like everything is so polished and emancipation grill and its exit so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. In emancipation grill. Don't take anything with you. In emancipation grill. I feel like I am supposed to bring the cube with me or something like that. Regardless. Yeah, in the, in the first game, I mean, it was everything was super well polished, right? And we were trying to figure out what what is going on underneath the surface, right? There's clearly something bad going on behind the scenes, but we don't know what. And then it slowly starts to pour in until you're faced with it at full force. This is a bit different, because we already know the nature of LaDOS in this test area. Grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Y'all good there, GLaDOS? Done setting up the walls? Um, hello? Oh no. The turbines again. I have <laughs> to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There. If you have any questions, just remember <laughs> what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. Love it. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is we can set up a portal there, I believe. So, we can probably set one up. It's kind of tough to line these up, admittedly. Let's go a little bit to the right. Is that better? Nope, not quite. A little bit to the right again. There we go. So that is all set up. The question is, though, as soon as I walk through this, I'm, I'm done. This is the only way through it. So I feel like I've got to use that cube somehow. I can fire portals through here, potentially. But as soon as I go through here, yeah, that's what happens. Can I take this through? Oh no, it fizzled! Just like Companion Cube! Hmm. So again, we're in a bit of a predicament, right? Is there anything I can do up here? No, it doesn't look like I'm gonna have any crazy physics in that regard. So, let's identify our, our goals real quick, right? I just need to activate this and be on this side. That's the main difficulty at the moment. How do I do that, though? I feel like I just stand on the cube, and that's the main purpose of it. But I feel like that's, I feel like that's not what they would do. Because, I mean, I could, I could do this. I feel like that's not the intended solution, though. Fair enough, I guess. We'll take it. Let me know if that was the intended solution or not, because I feel like that that wasn't how it was supposed to work, given the nature of, or the type of cube we got. I guess regardless, we'll take whatever works. <laughs> so it's fine by me. I just hope I'm not missing a lesson that I'm supposed to learn for future puzzles. Chapter 3, The Return. Okay. Let's do it. The Return of what, though? GLaDOS? Myself? Some other mechanic? 9 out of 22. Alright, we're cruising along. I'm curious to see what happens if I jump on this. Can I? Well, let's be real. I know what's going to happen if I jump on that. <laughs> 
What do we have going on here? This is a whoa. What? Well, I'm back. The aerial phase Wheelie. here is sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? No, I didn't break here. it. Try it now. Wheatley! Wheatley! <laughs> this plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generous generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. That's hilarious. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. <laughs> now. That was sarcasm, I can see now. Um, are there any places we could... A bloody bird, right? Couldn't believe it. Bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. Huh? You actually lowering the ceiling? Gotcha. So it looks like what I'll need to do is launch myself through here and over towards the other side. So let's see if there's an area we can fire a portal or something. Come on. Come on. I feel like this is not the intended route. What? There we go. Again, not the intended route, I'm sure. But something, I guess. So what do I do over here? I've got this laser. There's not a whole lot I can do with it at the moment because I can't mess around with the portal. It looks like what I'm going to need to do is launch myself up there to get a cube I'll need to use for this particular thing. What's going on over here? We still have that portal available. So maybe now I just need to... I need to be up there at some point. That will activate that. Okay, let's do that first then. So now I can head over back to the launch pad. Launch pad. <clears throat> Aerial faith something. Okay, we can hit the button. That should launch one of those cubes. Cool, we'll fire this while we're up here. Just because we have a better perspective. Did it fizzle out or something? That didn't sound like a very good sound effect. We still have that portal up there. All right. No. Okay. Did not fizzle out. Nice. Good news, guys. Now the question is, where do we aim it? We clearly aim it at the wall. And once we have it aimed at the wall, we need to redirect it through here. Sounds good. The thing, though, is... Uh, I see. So we'll need to set this up in the first place, but then we're going to end up using the portals the same way we did initially to get all the way up there, and then once we're up there, redo this part of it, I think. So, let's head on over here. You can redirect things like that. It honestly doesn't really matter where. And, just to be sure, once I'm up here, am I going to be able to redirect it? Yeah, I think I will. So I can do something like this. And activate it that way. But obviously now I need to get up there, which isn't going to be easy from here. I'll make my life easier by doing that. We'll alleviate that sort of problem. Okay. So I believe we've pretty much got this uh, puzzle wrapped up. Look at you, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle. Like an I eagle? Piloting a blimp. It's pretty funny. Alright, so we made it through that puzzle. I think we're doing pretty well. Now we're moving on to number 10 out of 22. I wonder if the game knows that we're potentially, you know, aware of how many puzzles there are and potentially counting them and looking forward to an end of the game when we get to the, you know, the end of the puzzles, per se. It is going to abruptly cut them short at a point where the player isn't necessarily expecting Enjoy it, this right? Next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw <laughs> again. 
not actually see the deer. Just tell us again about how you saw the deer. It's too funny. Are we finally gonna have enemies again? I feel like that was my least favorite part of Portal, is dealing with enemies. But can I can I just like chat with Wheatley a little bit more? I'm impressed. I'm surprised that Wheatley's even alive. Just want to catch up a little bit, see what's going on, how he's doing. So we've clearly got another one of these guys. We have ourselves a cube over there. The question is, how do we get over there? I'm tempted to think we launch ourselves or something. Oh my! That was not what I expected. But what's the what's the point of making our way up here? They don't really know. Oh, I can go around this. Whew. That that would have been potentially bad if I wrote that off too early. Man, this area is so tall. What's the point of being up here, though? I feel like I'm not really seeing a whole lot. Maybe it's to get behind here? Nope. We just could have come here from the start. Not really sure. What's down here? So I'm tempted to say we have some physics stuff going on, as is typical with Portal, where we're supposed to fly across. Ah, just missed it. Let's go up a little bit higher and give it a second shot. Give myself a little bit of a jump as well. Obviously I hit the ledge though beforehand. So we can take this guy. I don't even know where I'm supposed to take him though. What did I land on? Ledge there? I don't know. Okay. So now what? Do I put this on the, the launch pad or something? Looks like it. Or at least I attempt to. But again, I still don't know what I really gain from launching myself up here. I can interrupt this. And that does that. All right, but again, I don't I don't understand what the point of that was. Cuz I don't really see like I feel like I gained too much from that. Can I put stick a portal up there? No. Not up there. So I don't feel like I'm really why like why was that important? Clearly this is part of the puzzle. But why? And why the aerial launch pad as well? Right? And what's going on up there? I feel like I'm not quite seeing everything I need to be. Let's let's follow this path over here. Hmm. It looks like I maybe need to send the cube up here or something? From down here? That doesn't seem realistic though. So I can activate that and open that up? Maybe? I don't know. Oh! I didn't realize that those were... My bad. My bad. Then we will head over here and we can uh, drop that. Where are you going, buddy? Oh my! Came right up to greet us. How convenient. So... Where's our... Oh, so we need to replace the cube down there with this one. And then we can redirect the laser up there, I think. Sounds good. 
So, wait, I don't want to leave it on there, because then it'll go just go flying. We're gonna borrow you for a moment. Put you right there. Don't worry. Nothing, nothing personal. Nothing against you. And then, we can place it like this. We can place a portal over there for now. Because that's all we really need it for at the moment. And now, we can come back up here. With this cube. Bounce all the way up there. Boing, boing, and boom. And with this, we're going to be heading over there. I believe. So we'll leave this, like, I don't know, over here for now? Yeah, let's do that. And what I can do is set this up like that. A little bit more this way. So that is open. What is that music? And again, I don't really see, though... <clears throat> How is this gonna get me over there? It's just gonna launch me... Maybe those... Those aerial faith pads on the wall there are gonna send me back over this way with even more force? I guess there's only one way to find out. Thank goodness you don't take fall damage in this game. Alright, bounce one, bounce two, over, and bounce on this wall all the way back over here. <clears throat> Alright. Interesting. That was a pretty neat puzzle. Well, Let me get behind that test. one. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. Yikes. I thought, Gladys, you were all about testing. You need, and you should know more than anyone that you need a high sample size for any of the data you gather to be valid, right? And you can't be lying about this, these deer, man. It's just not appreciated, GLaDOS. Not appreciated. Now where are we? What is this? Hard light bridges? Testing element. Ooh. Those look pretty cool. <clears throat> Is that what we're going to be working with? Looks like it. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. That you if pump you in. If you your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. Well, hold up a minute. Your hair on fire, so don't actually <clears throat> My bad. Alright, so looks like we've got some new puzzle mechanics with this light pathway. It kind of reminds me of like Rainbow Road and, and stuff. But we're going to tackle these new mechanics in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Again, it's really fun getting you to do a lot of these puzzles again. They're really cool puzzles. I'm hoping for more story elements as I was during the first portal. But the humor, of course, with GLaDOS. And hopefully we get some more time with Wheatley. Wheatley, best best boy. Or best robot. Um, in, I don't know, the rest of the test series and everything. And... I don't know, I'm excited to see what new mechanics they're adding, because the puzzles, they definitely build on fundamental mechanics from the first game, but they're not too excessive, or they don't require too much from the first game, to the point that they're prohibitive. And I'm enjoying getting to learn them. So, I hope you guys are enjoying watching me learn, it's not too frustrating as I sometimes flounder to make my way through these puzzles, but regardless, I'll see you guys in the next episode. But until then, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete. Oh, 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 oh,